Hello YouTube friends. I'm taking pictures today and doing some more cleaning of the radio. I'm taking a couple pictures of the, of the outside first and I'm also taking the tube shields off and going to clean those off. And I gently rock the screwdriver back and forth to take the grid caps off. That's really important to do that. Now look at this tuner just sitting on the on the on the chassis here and it should be up higher it should be like up higher and I guess the rubber is disintegrated there and I'm also spraying underneath here the cobwebs and use that compressed air can now I'm not a doctor I, I look like one but you know I only play one like on YouTube so what can I say but I'm taking more pictures. There's a full field of the chassis, and there's uh, I'm taking little sections of the radio, and it's really crammed with components. There's the band switch. That's an important piece of the puzzle there, and uh, you can see all the components under there, and the wiring's pretty good. And I'm also taking pictures of uh, tube sockets there and the bake-like blocks. And um, there's some more bake like blocks. Everywhere you look, there's bake like blocks in this radio. There's really a ton of them in here. And I'm taking some close ups now. And I have a lot more pictures than these. I take from all different angles. And I use flash and then don't use the flash. There's another bake like block there with huge dog bone on that one. And sometimes they're screwed to the, to the chassis. There's another close up there. And there's a one new resistor in the whole radio, a newer type. And most of the components under here seem to be original, except for the electrolytics and that one resistor. And now I'm going to clean the shields off. And what I do is just use water and, and a toothbrush and uh, a little gentle scrubbing with a with a soft toothbrush and I'm just getting the dirt off on the outside and the inside and uh, they're getting a little cleaner and uh, if you like you can shoot it with some palm olive you're soaking in it and that works pretty good now I'm rinsing it in the sink that we don't do the dishes in this little side there but then I figure it was better to rinse them off in the bathroom so I went to the bathroom and kind of rinsed whatever soap junk was still like stuck on them kind of rinsed them off nice and then I carried them outside in a box you know and uh, I kind of taken them out of the box and putting them on this table here and they could dry in the sun and get some air and then I'm blowing the tubes off now you know with uh, some compressed air and uh, Compressed where it was really good. I'm glad I got this little compressed air can. I got a couple more too. I just figured I'll shoot the tuner a little bit with some compressed air. And that's the first tube. It's the Philco 37 and that looks like one of the original ones. So I just clean it off with a slightly damp rag and uh, that's all you need. You don't need a solution or anything or you know you don't want to rub the lettering off and just put it in a box and um, this is the next tube and this is supposed to be a 78 tube and I'm just kind of rocking it out real gentle like grabbing the base and uh oh it's a 6C6 tube and that's a sharp cutoff pentode and it's supposed to be a 78 tube like this one this is the uh, first IF and that's the 78 tube that one's correct so I pulled out the pictorial diagram and then I just flipped it over and wrote the tube numbers on the other side of it and now I just went through and took them out one by one and that one's the mixture tube that's a 77 remote cutoff tube I just cleaned it off and gently put it in the box and uh, that's a 76 tube and that was the local oscillator tube and just kind of 
put that in the box, clean it off. That looked like the original tube also. And I just labeled the box one of two. And now gently rock that screwdriver back and forth, you know, against the cap. And then uh, grab the base and gently rock the tube out, you know, because you don't want to break anything. And that one's a 78 tube. That was correct. That was a QAVC tube. And here I'm gently taking the cap off, you know, because uh, these, these grid caps come off easy, I'm telling you. And just kind of putting them in the box right next to the radio. And that's, uh, that's the driver tube. That's a Tungsol tube. And there's another Filco. This guy liked replacing the tubes with Filco tubes. And I guess he liked what he said on the thing. He said, uh, use a Jangawang Filco tube when renewing there. Insist on one. So I think that's what he did. He insisted on Filco tubes. So I'm just putting them in the box there, real gentle and a little packing material. I'm going to seal this box up and put the two boxes, I labeled it two of two, and then put the two boxes in a safe place. And now just cover that tube socket and start like scrubbing a little with a toothbrush. And that's it folks. Have a great day.